Welcome back to Central Valley Talk, COVID edition. And oh, I guess I can take the mask off because our next guest is not in the studio. Jim, Jim Lannis from Fresno. You're just up the street. You couldn't drive over here? <laughs> well, you know, being in London, it's a little difficult. Oh, you're in London, England. Plus, <laughs> yeah, UK, United Kingdom, yeah. London. And uh, I'm here for us to uh, continue working my projects. And it's actually, it's much safer here. I feel safer here. Safer there, yeah. <laughs> but by the way, we do these remotes all day long now. This is the clearest picture. That's why I thought you were just up the street. It's a great picture, great sound. So. Well, thank goodness for technology getting better. You have a good internet you know, no connection, more, obviously. Yeah, and not, no more of the jagged movements, you know. Yeah. Well, now where are pretty, you now? Where, where in London are you? Actually, you go North London. Okay. The, the, the borough is called Islington, which is the actual small borough of the North London. Okay. And uh, it's quite quaint. It's kind of vibey. You've got the little vibey shops, the restaurants, you know, the walking distance. Ten minutes, I get there. Ten minutes, I can walk to uh, three different tube stations. And a train station, so it's pretty pretty accessible. Nice, nice. Now, uh, last year on our show, we we're talking HR and uh, about your company, and uh, tell us what you're doing now. Well, that's one of the reasons I'm here. Uh, two reasons. Number one is that we're developing a whole new platform for Team Player HR. So the, the website is teamplayerhr.com. 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 Correct. And, and uh, what, what that does is that it has the capability to determine the compatibility between people in the workplace. I mean, we hire people what they know, and we fire them when they leave because they don't fit the culture of the organization, not because they can't do the job. So we're, we're actually revamping a whole new platform to make it uh, seamlessly, more scalable, and actually a whole new angle. Hmm. Since uh, uh, the, the generation of millennials, they love technology, whereas the job seeker can actually use our technology to evaluate compatibility with a future employer, okay. being the, the team manager or the supervisor, whom they're going to work with. That's a win-win. So if they get along, they're going to do well. So it's both ends. So the, the employee can make sure they're going to fit with the employer, and the same the other way around. Exactly. So, so the thing is, it's a whole new element. The thing is, too, it's not a psychometric test. It's not the good old traditional Myers-Briggs or DISC lookalike. We actually complement those, those the technologies. Mm -hmm. And are totally different. It's patented in the U.S. and patent pending in the United Kingdom and the EU. Uh, it basically is basic, basically to put people where they will be able to perform work routine. And who benefits? The customer and the employer will be able to make revenue to stay in business. Right. Now, we talked about this uh, last time you were on. Sometimes a worker looks perfect on paper and they're perfectly skilled, but they're just not a fit sometimes uh, uh, for a company. So your methods help figure that out before you go through the expense of hiring them and paying them for a couple months before you find exactly out. Exactly right, Mike, because the, the cost of a bad hire is, is, is like five times annual salary. And for us to start the whole thing over again. And there's plenty of data that shows that, that it's not working, the current way is not working. So that's the opportunity for our technology. But at the same time, it's a win-win because, you know, with good intentions during the interview, you know, we want to find something about the person, how they're going to, you know, how they can work well with the manager or the supervisor and vice versa. But unfortunately, if I want a job, I want to tell you what you want to hear. And I might be the guy from hell. Yeah. <laughs> However, this our technology is non-biased and, and it's objective information. And the thing is, you can't game it uh, because it's not a test either. So if you take a questionnaire and we give you a team identifier, which basically is your answer to the question. Those are compared, because uh, everybody takes the profile. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a whole new, new concept, new application. And the, chance, the challenge has always been, people confuse us or pigeonhole it as a psychometric test, which means Myers-Briggs, this look alike, which we're not. Right. We complement them. Right, right, it's different. I mean, they might still do the Myers-Briggs, but yours would be in well, addition. Let me, give, let, me give, let me give you an example. Mario Briggs would tell you, as an example, let's say you're going to use, you want the criteria to run a four minute mile. Mm -hmm. So everybody takes the test, and the 100 people can run the four minute mile. The question is, you only need four for a relay team, four of the 100. The question is, that what for? Well, in one of the Olympics, uh, I think in 2008, we had the four fastest women in the world. So you would think you put these four women together, and by rights, they should win the relay. Yeah, four fastest women. They didn't win. 
They didn't win. Well, it's not because they didn't have the, they didn't have the skills or ability. It's because they, they didn't get along. They all wanted to be the the anchor person, so they argued. So they didn't help each other. They didn't, they didn't pass the baton right. In fact, I think they dropped it. Yeah. So our really? technology, using that same example, is that of the hundred people who pass the talent, do you want? We'll pick the four people that will work well together as team engagement right. and course. And the thing is, too, you know, the whole thing about diversity and inclusion, that's a big, now it's a big thing now. Yeah. And the thing is that ours is actually, you can be utilizing that aspect because you're putting people together, barring all the EOC uh, requirements, basically, because you don't see the person. It just basically gives you information to make an inquiry. So you get a relay team that wins. Now, uh, who needs you? Big companies, small companies, or all companies? Well, you know what? That's a good thing because we, we love the playing field. A lot of time, well, mom and pop shop, like say five to ten employees, mm -hmm. you get one person that doesn't fit. We call it disruptor. Right. You know, you can spend eighty percent of the time. Yeah. <laughs> You've been there. Yeah. Whole they <laughs> throw the whole company off. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you spend all the time. But if you use Team Credit Sure, you can find out before you hire them. But they also, in the, within the organization, say the large organizations, you know, they kind of take this. They kind of take the attitude that's kind of status quo the way life is, but it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. Because you can find people internally. You can move people around within the organization. Mm -hmm. If it's large enough to put people together within the organization that will work well together and help support each other. Yeah. And yet again, so it's another function of that, of that technology. So if you get a large organization, a guy's not fitting in on one spot, there might be a spot for him, but you got to use your technology to figure out where his spot might be. You know, you'll know what group, what individual, other person they'd be able to work with and, and produce. So you don't have to hire somebody to move around if you can within the organization. Yeah. And that's a win-win. And that's actually return on value about 35 times the cost of doing putting people right together within the organization. So the, the this value is phenomenal because you don't, well, they still with the organization. They produce because you put them with the right people team together. Now, here's what's really interesting, Mike. Team Credit Sharp can be used for sports. If you look at anybody who speaks about sports, what do they talk about? They don't talk about the play. They talk about, hey, we get it together, we charge each other up. Yeah. So, they, so it's, it doesn't make a difference what you do, what you know. It's how you interface and when you react to the people with around you or you put together. And that's the beauty of it. And actually, I think I sent you some examples. We're ready for them. I'd be glad to share them with you. Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. So you look at the first one, I think it's, it basically shows the process. It's really straightforward and simple. And you can, you can use it, on, you can take the questionnaire through your mobile, to a lap, laptop, whatever, anywhere at any time. No one sees the answer, they just see the results okay. of the big people. So let's see, the, the, let's see what you got up on the screen here, and I, I'll walk you through. Um, we're trying to put our finger on those right now, Jim. Um, well, that's quite right. Let's go, uh, let's take a minute with your sports analogy because we've seen a team where one person on a football team is a disaster. Great, great, great yeah. player, but that gets a whole team off that way. This, 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 we call it disruptor. disruptor. And you know what's a good example of that? The movie Draft Day with Kevin Costner. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've ever seen about the quarterback. He had something about the quarterback. Realized when he, the, the, the thing in the movie was he had found out that this young person had a 21 year birthday party at a high prestigious hotel, and, and the assistant coach says, asked Costner, how many teammates do you think went to his birthday party? What do you think the answer was? The whole team, right? No, nobody showed up, no team member showed up. Hmm. They didn't like him, they, they didn't, didn't like him, him, but they knew, and this guy was a Heisman Trophy, they knew to get what they wanted, they had to work with him, but they weren't happy about it, they had to do it for themselves. Yeah. So no one's, not one team member went to the birthday party. Right, wow. Jim, I don't, I don't see the graphic you're talking about, but tell us about the uh, some of the processes. Well, here's what happens basically. <laughs> so if I invite you and say, Mike, take this, take this team player HR profile, and I give you basically a, a um, you go to the website, teamplayerhr.com, you sign up, fill out the information, you click, click save. It's going to ask for a, a team group code. Basically, basically, we're putting you into comparing to the people in that group. And you, you take the questionnaire, all multiple choice, takes about 15 minutes. Once you're completed with that, I can compare your in, means your answers to the questionnaire with other participants. And so you get a graph. So the technology can measure one-to-one, -one, 
-hmm. one to many or many to one. And it ranks them in order. So for example, you're one of 10 people. Okay. And, and uh, uh, you rank number, number three with that manager or that team leader. But at the same time, we can change the team leader and guess now you rank number one. Wow. So the thing is, once you take the profile questionnaire, you never have to take it again because our goal is to assign you an EMID number, you put on your CV, and that's access to your, t your answer to your profile so other people can use that to compare yourself with other people within your organization. And that's what's so good. Yeah, and we do have the, those graphics up from the website right now. But I think I hear you saying this is, is you can, uh, a worker, a, a potential employee could take the test and then it could, he could shop it to various employers. Is that correct? Yeah, you can. Wow. Exactly. Wow. So it's not just one applying for one job and we're going to do that, but, but uh, different employers can find who's going to fit best. Wow. Exactly. Or vice, and vice versa. Yeah. You can find out what best employee you work with. Yeah, that's great. Automatically. Technology does it all. And now with, with, with um, you know, now with uh, since people working from home, you don't interview, you do a video, but still the bias, it takes, it takes a bias, the bias, unconscious bias out of the selection process. Objective, not judgmental information to make an informed decision. So let's see what you got. And I'll be able to work just an example. I'm not, we're going to try to turn the camera so you can see what we have on the screen here. Um, uh, Jim, there you go. That's what we have up now. It's from your website. Yeah, okay. Okay, that work. All right. If you can, if you can see, Actually, the, the graph, so you see a list of people on the left are the names, uh -huh. and then you see them in order, which means that the, the, the manager, the person at the top is the best match, and the person at the bottom is the least best match. Okay. And what that does basically gives you information <laughs> to make an informed decision. All right? So if you can see that, how they write, and, and, and as an example, as I said earlier, let's say you take the same group of people, all right? And you, you put another team leader as the benchmark, and the order will change, and the and the dots will move because it's it's, it's predicated on the team leader's profile, team okay. profile. So yeah. that's how it's. So and you can just right, go in and break board. You with can a keep using it all the time. With that's a the click, you, with a click, you could switch out the team leader and different team members, and uh, it's all on the website. Exactly. Exactly. So I so. pictured this when I heard you describe it before. You send them books, they'd fill out books and fill out, but it's all on the website. It's all interactive and nobody has to go anywhere to do it. They can do it from home, I guess. That's, that's, that's exactly right. In fact, the best part to do it before you, you can, you know, if you got a list of 100, have them all take it and you just pick the top person uh -huh. or you pick the top five, whatever you want. Yeah. And, and Or for reorganization, you know, you can put people together who's a, who's sitting next to each other. Right. Make sure they're going to, there's, there's no problems. Yeah. Well, well, that's really, really great. The way our, our standard way of hiring is if somebody comes in for an interview and you look at their resume, they're nervous, you know, they're dressed uh, dressed up, this isn't even how they normally dress, you know, they're, they're not themselves at the interview, but here you just could push that aside and, and look at the numbers even before they come in for an interview. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's the best part. So you just deal with the people, you know, there are good potentials because you can, she's not based on skill sets. Everything out there today, talk about talent, is based on skill sets. Well, it's not working. And we're the missing element of information that will enhance that selection process yeah. and give you information to make sure you get the person who's got the skill sets you want, and plus you got a team player who's yes. going to work well with the culture of the organization, and it's a win win for both parties. Win win for the, of course, the best of the customer because they're going to get an uh, organization can treat them well because they're treating each other well and they get along well, they perform well. And of course, that goes to the bottom line and, and yet again, so people are happy. So people are happy to work. Why what, not? I want to ask so, you about a couple more things before we're out of time. We've gone way over, I know, but I could talk to you for hours about this. It's fascinating. Um, you're writing a book on this or you wrote a book. Tell yeah, me about that. Yes, you know, yes, because you know what? It's just showing that basically that how for 80 years, it has been the same old way. We'd be doing the same old sort of way and expect different results. You know, there's been some at best of technology, but the same that the same extrinsic variables that are used. The book's going to give you the kind of lay the land of, hey, you know what? We've been doing like the Mario Briggs uh, lookalikes for 80 yeah. years. It hasn't worked good. Look at the situation. Yeah. And then the benefits of, of using, and there's a copy of it, and using 
the, uh, our technology be able to uh, address that missing element to make an informed decision, which is consistent and objective and non-biased. Okay. So, so you hire people that have both elements of talent and a good cultural fit with the organization, and of course that saves money and you're able to perform. And the book basically kind of tells the story of, of why, you know, the who, what, where, who, what, when, and why, and, and the benefits of it. <clears throat> because in the process, in our website, we have a cost, cal- cost value, value saver. Basically, what the value of using Team 3 HR is regarding if you use our technology, this is what you're going to save. If you don't use it, this is what you're going to lose on pay. It should pay for itself. And the book kind of gives a whole explanation about how it's different than the traditional method that we use today that is not working. Now, by the way, for this uh, team player uh, website, the companies don't have to invest in technology. You invested in all the t- technology. Companies just need to log in. Is that right? That's it. Of course, they, they log in. And it's a subscription. You know, you've got to pay for the, for the, the service. Yeah. But it's totally affordable. I mean, it's a good example. We, we, we often give you back the 10 to 35 times the value of what you spend with us. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. And that's that's and that's, and that's an impact. I'm a small that's business. Savings, actually. Yeah. I'm a small business, but the cost of training even one person when you get to the end of the training and you, they're not bitten in, you know, that's just a giant cost to our little business. So I can imagine on a larger scale how it must affect them for doing bad hires. Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, if you go on the website, there's a, a value calculator. You can utilize how many people you work in your organization, and you know, pretty much it gives a graph that says if you don't use us. This was going to cost you. Could you use this? This is what you're going to say, and the comparison of that. It just speaks for itself. Yeah. It just basically people get into teamplurichart.com, and and they'll, they'll give you the access information, which is totally new. Yeah. Go to the website if you're watching this teamplayerhr.com. Teamplayerhr.com. It's free to go look at the site, and there's all kinds of information on there. And uh, uh, I, I encourage it. Big company, small company, go check it out. Last thoughts, Jim. We're out of time, but I want to give you one more chance. Well, I'll tell you what. Anyone who watches this and wants to trial it at, uh, at, at a risk-free trial, we're open to it because we actually develop a new platform, and you'll be able to utilize it, and we want some testimonials and some feedback of using it. And, uh, of course, I said free risk trial. And, you know, just, you know Jim at teamforhr.com is my email address. And of course, you can always plug in info at Team for HR and get a hold of me. Yeah. And uh, we're open to to doing something in regards of to help you to get the right people, put the right team together, be performance, and have happy employees and help people. Very cool. So, very cool. Uh, Thanks, you, Mike. I could talk to you about this for hours. It's fascinating to me. TeamplayerHR.com. Email Jim at TeamplayerHR.com. Jim Lattis from Fresno. Uh, people watch us all over the country. They probably don't even know where Fresno is, but, but uh, Jim at TeamPlayerHR.com. Uh, if you didn't write that down, call me at Cinder Valley Talk. I'll put you right in touch with Jim. He's a nice guy. What a great product. Uh, uh, Jim, thank you for calling in from London. It's 8 o'clock at night there, or 8.30, almost 9 o'clock now, huh? After 9. That's right. That's right. We had a wonderful, beautiful day today, so enjoy, enjoy, the, enjoy the weather while I'm here. And I'll be here for two months, actually. Nice. So. And, and hopefully things go well. I'll go to Cyprus for a little bit. But still working on the project. Good thing for technology. You can go in the world. You can work with what work where I do. So that's the best one. Very good. So. All right. We'll All be right. back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.